Fun one to not Manny. This one is from the olden days. It's called Gregory, the noisiest and strongest boy in Granger's Grove. Gregory could run faster than the fastest rabbit and jump higher than the highest haystack and holler so loud you had to hold your hat. Grandma could hear him coming a mile away. And when they were finished, the honey bear gave Grandma a big honey bear hug, and Mr. Murphy's mule gave Grandma a big molasses smile. But Gregory gave Grandma a strawberry jam kiss, and that was the sweetest kiss Grandma ever had. Yeah. I want to know, have you ever seen the rain falling down on a sunny, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's been raining for days. It is a little bit after nine o'clock at night right now. We're fixing to put together a hash brown, ham and hash brown breakfast casserole for breakfast in the morning. Oh, we don't have to bake it or anything tonight. We just mix it all up, pour it in the pan. I'm greasing up my pan with some Crisco. Yes, I still, I keep on forgetting to get some cooking spray, but I mean, this works, so it's fine. It takes a minute longer, but you get to, you know, reflect on the crazy day you've had because we've had a crazy one. <laughs> First of all, the rain is never ending it seems, but I think maybe it's about to pass for a little while. I really don't know. I'm afraid to look at the weather. So I bought this ham steak for omelets one day this week, but today is already Thursday and omelets have not happened. So it's gonna be a ham and hash brown casserole every morning. I'm like, do I want to make omelets today? Nah. So yeah, it's been a long day. We ended up having some well water troubles. It's a long story. Like, it started with my washing machine doing that thing that it does sometimes where I showed y'all that if I clean the hose in the back, then it works again. So it started with that, and I thought, it's doing that a little sooner than it normally does. Usually, you know, several months before I have to do that, but I was like, okay, because it's only been a couple of months ago, I think, since I cleaned it, but I was like, whatever, I cleaned it again. And then it worked pretty good for about four days, and then it did it again. And I was like, what is going on with this washing machine? So I took the hoses off again to clean it, and there was this white stringy stuff, like it looked like, um, kind of like fiberglass in the part where the hose goes. And I thought, did somebody have something in their pocket and somehow it backwashed up in here? <laughs> I was trying to figure out what it was. Anyway, washing machine still would not work. So then the water pressure in our bathroom sink got really, really slow, like barely coming out. And so Titus was like, something's wrong. To make a very long story short, we have been here and there and everywhere <laughs> and talking to lots of people on the phone. Uh, we talked, Titus talked to several plumbers and several well people who were like, we have no idea what that could be. So finally, we ended up, uh, we had a plumber come out. They cleared the lines and everything. And so the water pressure is back to normal now. They put a new filter on down there where the pump is or whatever. But that's just a, you know, it's not a solution to the problem. It's just fixed it for the moment because the white stuff is still there. And so Titus, that plumber, he did not know what it could be. I'm going to put my ham over here. He didn't know what it could be. So I'm telling y'all this in case y'all have this problem, you'll know what it is. Drop that piece of ham. So we ended up, uh, the plumber said, have you had the water tested? And we hadn't had it tested yet. So we went to a water treatment, forgot what it was called, water treatment, water, some kind of place that can test water. Anyway, right when the man saw it, because we took a sample of the water with the white stuff floating around in it to the place with us for them to test. Right when he saw it, he said that is some kind of parts with the impellers, I think, inside the pump breaking apart and shredding apart and they're coming through the pump and getting in the lines and that's what it is. He didn't even have to test the water. He was like, I've seen it before. I know that's what it is. Anyway, like I said, it's a long story, but if you ever get the white stuff in your well water that looks like fiberglass or kind of like little strings of tape stuff. That's what it is, part of your pump. Deciding it's time to retire. So we've been buying water to cook with and to make tea and stuff like that with. Anyway, it was another extremely rainy day. We went to some more antique stores because we're turning into antiquers. What do you call people who like to go to antique stores? Antiquers? The kids don't like to go with us to the antique stores. They haven't found their love for things of old yet. They'll find it one day. One day, they'll be wanting to go look for antiques and they'll be finding the stuff that now is not an antique, but it will be then. And they'll be like, my mama had one of these. And they'll love it. 
anyway, I'm gonna get this mixed up and we'll take y'all back in time to uh, earlier today when we went, how many places did we even go to? It turned into a date day without even meaning to because they didn't want to go with us to the antique stores and stuff. So putting in the hash brown, I don't think this is uh, gonna be a big enough bowl, but we'll see. I think I can make a mixture of the rest of the stuff and just pour it over the top. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, now we'll take that bowl and use it to mix up the other stuff that we'll pour over the top. We need eight eggs. Okay, we need one and a half cups of milk. Half a cup of sour cream. We're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper. About a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna put a few of these minced onions in here. I have a little bit of this four cheese Mexican blend left over from the Southwest cornbread casserole, so I put that on there. Now we'll just shred up some cheddar. Titus has to leave really early in the morning, so this will be good to have already ready just to put in the oven. And it can be cooking while we're getting ready and while the coffee's brewing. Pour the egg mixture all over the top. Now we'll just cover this and put it in the refrigerator. Y'all are gonna go back in time to earlier today. Today we're bringing y'all to the mercantile. We're just really kind of looking around today. Look, you wanted an old phone, there's a payphone. Oh. <laughs> y'all. VHS tapes. I had a jewelry box just like this almost when I was little. It's only $7.99. Oh, somebody had these mugs. I've seen these before. $6.99 for the whole set. Look at this old hot dog sign. Try our hamburgers, try our hot dogs. I'm gonna try those. $22, those are neat. Oh, look at these. I wonder what year these are from. Duck. <laughs> oh, look at this cabbage patch doll. I've never seen a seat like that. Oh yeah, that is strange. That sits in the corner. Yeah, it's a corner chair. Um, it has a sign that says, yes, we're open. This is why we call this Adventures. We don't know if they're open or not. I <laughs> like how they got that chain right there to catch the water coming down. That's pretty neat. I've never seen Oh, yeah, that is neat. I've never seen spoon wind chimes either, but there they are. Oh, and there's butter knives also. Found another one. Found another one. Folks. Old schoolhouse mall. Antiques, furniture, and home. Oh, look at that truck! Folks, if you want to roll back in time with us, just stay tuned. Mm -hmm. If you're tired of all the aliens and stuff, just hang on. We'll take you back when we didn't believe in them. <laughs> <laughs> Already, I like that green like picnic table. What you about like the, the bike? <laughs> the little bike. Porch season is officially open. Oh, look at this little Pepsi wagon. How much are you, Pepsi Wagon 59? Look at it, everybody look at it. Oh, that's beautiful. That's scary. Look at this old McDonald's toy. I would like a Big Mac combo, please. Oh, look at this, that's pretty. It for real smells like grandma's house in here. Like, is somebody cooking or is this food smells coming from all these old, <laughs> old cooking things? Look at this cooking pot, that's pretty. So what I'm realizing is each one of these little sections is somebody's section. It's a vendor's section. See, like here's one, there's one, there's one. And each one seriously has different smells. I think it's like their house smell. I don't know. 
I mean, it smells good, it doesn't stink, but it's weird how it smells different when you move to the different sections, like right here. I'm thinking, is there candles somewhere? It smells like a really strong candle smell. Look at this little pig. Look how pretty this is. That is beautiful. I don't know why in the world it just smells like a, like a crock pot. Yeah, like Granny got some beans in there. It really good. And cornbread yeah. cooking. Yeah. That's what it smells like. Oh, look at this bear. It's on sale, but he still ain't cheap. What's he for? Is Seven. it like a bitch? It's a stool. Oh, okay. Cookies, pet ice cream. Oh, I'm looking at the ice cream thing. He's, he's making a loud noise. <laughs> he's looking at another one of those. Look, pet ice cream, a health food. You see? They told the truth back then. Yeah. They told the truth. That's it. Now they're trying to say it's not good. Who are we going to believe? I don't believe the old timers. Me too. <laughs> okay. And, uh, they're the ones living up there. You know, yeah, it's close to 100. Exactly. And eating lard. We'll stick with them. Yeah. <laughs> Fat back and beans. I wonder if this one would still work. It does. Oh. Look at that. Fondue set. That was big back in the 70s, I think. Fondue. This is pretty. Little house on the prairie right here. Harriet listening in. That's nice. Huh? And we're going to look at that and hang out Coach? right back on there. <laughs> it's crazy. It's we got to ask them, are they cooking something around here? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> is anything cooking? You can buy some pictures of some people you don't know. Happy couple. Right there. That's the happy couple. And this is their child. <laughs> Sun's coming out. We're gonna go into this number three vintage store. capital of the world right here y'all there are antique stores on every corner look daddy down there antiques down there original coke bottles never opened bottled in atlanta georgia serious buyers ask for assistance thank you 150 dollars. look at that oh my goodness they still have the coke in them
casserole is really good. I mean, straw sipping off the table. <laughs> I just poured that juice everywhere. So it's good? Mm-hmm.